Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Welcome to another video in my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. The handgun I'm featuring today is a Para USA Expert. Goes about 10 years old. Para Expert. Now this one's a little bit different. It has a 25 pound recoil spring, an Ed Brown barrel, and that allows it to shoot not just 45 ACP, but 45 Super and 450 SMC. I, I've shot the 45 Super before. That's equivalent to a 45 ACP plus P plus P, in my opinion. So it does offer versatility. It's got a fiber optic front sight, two dot rear sight. That sweet, already check clear. Single action trigger, rubber grips, and a good looking gun. Stainless steel. The recoil spring is 25 pounds. The average 1911 is approximately 16 pounds, so it's a, it's a bit heavier, but it is manageable. I've got regular 45 ACP here. These are hollow points, arms core. But let's take a few shots and we'll check it out. All right, so what happened there was I engaged the thumb, thumb safety with shooting. All right, I had my thumb here, and upon the recoil, I engaged it, and you may have seen me pull the trigger without it firing. That's what's happening. But it is a nice handgun. I'm very happy with it. I'm glad I took it in on a trade, and I have no regrets. But now let's check out that shotgun. My last one handgun, one shotgun, one rifle review I was helped out by my good friend Greg. He provided the rifle and the shotgun. Well, he said, I can help you out again with this one. And so shout out to him again for helping keep this series going. I love this series and I do enjoy getting various firearms to use in it. But this is a Mossberg 500 Youth Bantam. The Bantam model is a 20 gauge, 22 inch vent rib barrel. It is a pump action shotgun, two beads right there. It's not being used at the moment because Greg has and optic it also has an aftermarket polymer stock this would normally come in wood and a gold trigger there tells me it's a little bit older but it's a good looking shotgun uh, 20 gauge you know 20 gauge will get the job done in many different applications home defense hunting you name it but it's a bat a youth bantam which means it's a good training tool for younger kids primarily the youth hence its name but it is pretty pretty nice looking shotgun so let's go ahead and take a few shots i have one chambered right now the thumb safety is engaged it will accept three inch loads and let's see if greg has this optic sight it is let's yes he does oh. and i believe that's it yep all right so there it is Mossberg 500 Youth Bantam in 20 gauge, a nice looking shotgun. I usually don't put optics on my shotgun, but I have to say that was pretty nice. This is sighted in very well. Thanks again, Greg. But now let's get to that rifle. The rifle that I'm featuring today is a Ruger Mini 30. I have the Mini 14. This is a Mini 30 chambered in 762 by 39. It is ammo finicky. You can see I have brass loads in there right now. It does not like steel case loads at all. So, you know, you have to keep that in mind. This has an aftermarket hoax stock, a rubber hoax stock. It, it feels great, but it is heavy. Aftermarket bird's cage flash hider and an AccuStrut barrel stabilizer. Right there, that's also aftermarket. I had a problem with the optic yesterday. The Vortex Crossfire 2 went completely blurry on me after three or four shots so i'm going to shoot low and into the berm you can see here that greg also has a homemade cheek rise and you do have to rock the mags in but the ruger minis go for over a grand in today's market so i'm going to go ahead and take a few shots once again i'm going to shoot low on the berm not using the optic at all the thumb safety is right there you just 
move it forward and you are off safe. But let me go ahead and take a few shots here. And that's it. That was a 10 round magazine. Fires great with those brass loads. It just doesn't like the steel case ammo. But it, it felt great, like no recoil at all with this heavy stock. Barrel stabilizer is always a nice, not, not really a downside to it, especially with these pencil thin barrels there. But the Ruger Mini 30, getting it done with brass loads. The optic, once again, had an issue, but thankfully that'll get taken care of no problem. And it's shot pretty smooth. Thanks for watching another video in my series called one handgun, one shotgun, one rifle. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching it. You guys be safe.